New York is a collection of villages. The old have been in charge since before the revolution. Until the new people invaded. How I would describe the Gilded Age is just finery at its best meets really exciting social drama. I hope you're not against Miss Scott. She'll disrupt things. Maybe we need a bit of disruption. Peggy Scott. I feel like I'm deeply in love with her. She is a young, aspiring writer. As a black woman in the 1880s, she's educated. Her father owns a pharmacy. She's supposed to inherit the pharmacy, but she has her own dreams. There aren't any colored writers, especially women writers, who can make a living wage. I will soon find out how much colored women writers make. I remember when I read Peggy's breakdown and I saw myself so completely and I felt protective of her because she felt like this spiritual ancestor of mine that kind of also came to remind me that I've always belonged. I think that there's so many limiting perspectives for black people and black artists what we take in from the media, from our history books about what we can and can't be and the idea of being the first is kind of this illusion that keeps you cut off from your power and from your history and I always dealt with not quite feeling like I belonged. And then I saw Peggy and I was like, oh my God, I've always existed. You know, people who move through the world like me, black women who move through the world like me, and that tightrope that we walk has always been there. And so it's been really healing actually to get to share Peggy and get to be this intimate in relationship with, with her story. Have you ever thought about writing anything political, Miss Scott? I have. Don't ask her if she's a Republican. Well, why should I align myself with either party when I don't have the right to vote? Working with this entire cast has been a masterclass. As a theater kid, I mean, I don't know if there's any scenes without a Tony nominee or a Tony winner present. <laughs> it's so I was just fangirling inside all the time, and then Audra was just the icing on the cake that I didn't even dare imagine. I couldn't have, you know, my 15-year-old self like obsessively watching her YouTube videos and seeing her do for me what I hope what what I hope Peggy gets to do for other. Um, young black girls is like so special. I'm going now. You just remember, we are all held fast, frozen in time until you finally allow us to move forward. Honestly, all of the scenes that I got to shoot in the Scott house were just so amazing. They were written so well. The set, like walking into this brownstone and having the whole set decorated with these photographs, these true photographs of black families from this time, black upper class families from this time. It was like images that have been really hidden from all of us in this country. We all had so much fun shooting that scene with Marion in the shoes. Like, we all just viscerally had our own experience with that type of white nonsense, including Louisa. Old shoes. I thought, what did you think, Miss Brooke? That we would need cast off shoes? We're like laughing between takes at the looks that, you know, the housekeeper was giving her. It was just, it was so alive. Louisa and I talked a lot about Peggy and Marion's relationship. And we also talked about the nuances of intimacy between black and white women right now in 2022 and what makes it difficult and challenging. and where white supremacy really gets in the way of true sisterhood getting to form. And so we were like, how do we show a true honest relationship develop that also really gets to honor the time it would take to build that trust? I want viewers to see that we all have our divine right to our own sovereignty and to carving out a life path that makes sense to us. And I think that as a black woman, it's kind of a radical act. She's 20 years out of a country where she literally couldn't have owned her own body as her as herself. And so I want black people to see that kind of freedom and access to the story that's always been theirs and always will be. And I want the United States at large to really just take ownership of the true diversity that has made up this nation and that the story that we see doesn't exist without every type of person existing on every level. I'm really excited for the audience to get to finally find out what all of Peggy's secrets are. You know, my mom, everyone's always like, why is she meeting with that lawyer? What's going on? You know, and so we will definitely get to see that story unfold and see the path it sets her on. And I think her and Marion kind of come to these crossroads moments of 
Um, are they going to choose themselves or are they going to choose this other path? And so I think everyone will be excited to see that. And then I think season two, for my character, I, I'm hearing whispers of just getting to go even deeper into the nuances of her world and to the nuances of the black world at that time. And so I am really thrilled about that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.